Hi guys, what's going on? I wanted to show you guys something that you don't really see on a daily basis. This. Yep, it's a John Deere. Check out how much rust this thing has. I mean, all this paint. All the wheels. Look at all this. Bam, coming all off. This is the rustiest machine that I've seen in my whole life. Look at that. Guess how many hours it has? Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? All oh, these, these pins were locked, sealed in, seized in. Dude took six hours to uh, make to uh, make them work again. Man, this thing is world's rustiest tractor, that's for sure. Yeah, the first time I seen it, I was like, where in the world did they find it? Did they find it like in uh, the East Coast somewhere? You know, somewhere underwater? Man, that was crazy when I seen it. So, but the thing is, this thing was working on a salt mine. That's why it's so rusty. And it only has 600 hours. And when I heard it, I was like, wow. You know, and if, you know, John Deere would have kept their shape all the same. You could tell that this is a newer machine because of the shape. But if it would if they would all look the same you know like the g-wagon mercedes you know they all look the same i would think this thing has like seven thousand hours but 600 hours this rusted out they need to have some kind of a paint to put over these machines to keep them from rusting especially when they're going to work at a rust mill at a uh, salt mine check all this out rusted everywhere Let's get going. So I just dropped it off at the paint shop. It's gonna get restored. I'll show you guys. Uh, if I'll be picking it up, I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's uh, when it's gonna be nice, done, finished. I picked up machines from these guys before that they've painted. Man, they turn out some nice products. So they got a big old John Deere, uh, not John Deere, cat. Uh, I think it was like a D9 excavator in there getting painted. And uh, that Toycoochie right there, nice paint job on it, you know, and that John Deere excavator. They do good work. So, all right, guys, gonna put my stuff away and head out. just dropped off that skip loader um, at that paint shop and I'm headed over just came to my mom's house we have this big tree that was you can see how it's leaning toward the house we already my brother's already started working on it every year it started leaning more so we it's gonna it's supposed to rain uh, next week and we don't want the ground to get soft and you know the tree falling on the house so we're gonna take care of it while it's still uh, standing. Yes, he has a harness. Everything's good to go.
branches they don't really look that heavy but man those things are freaking they got some weight to them because they're wet so it's nice to have a machine that you can move around uh move all, them all around so. all right so what we ended up doing is that's the branch that we were cutting was going all the way over the roof and like i said earlier we we're afraid that if it's gonna rain it might fall so we cut that we just got this little section left to cut then clean up some of these dry things and then yeah so it looks a lot better we wanted to cut the whole tree down at first but we're like you know let's keep uh the more trees the better on the property so it's nice to have a machine like this we were uh about to rent a high not a high reach a um one of those Machines basically that has a basket on it. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but my uncle owns this machine and he uh, it was off his job. So we're like, let's just grab it and we could move some stuff around the property while we have, you know, some pallets maybe, you know. Um, there's some other trees over there that we could hit and we just could have it for a couple of days versus renting a machine for a few hours. So, and then, yeah. So, big thanks to my brother Paul right here. <laughs> Professional operator, uh -huh. Roseland. Yeah, that guy is crazy, man. Climbing all the way up there. Hey, how's everyone doing? It's been a few days since we uh, cut the tree down. Um, I'm at the alignment shop right now, getting my truck aligned. While I have an extra minute, I'm gonna get that done, then run down to the auto parts store and grab um, some oil. Usually, I buy about five boxes when it's on sale because it's way cheaper. You could save, you know, a couple hundred bucks if you buy that much at a time on sale. But yeah, we'll do that and then run down to mom's and get my oil change there and also check out the tree, see how my brothers did. And yeah, go from there. So, all right, got the alignment done on the truck. Seems like it's doing better. It used to pull to the right, so um, especially when it's connected uh, to the trailer. Um, but it's looking good now and, and then I did my oil change so coming up to uh, mom's house gonna check on the tree I know the guys did a good job so show you guys what it looks like all right that's what it looks like way nicer this thing used to overhang like crazy like that see you can see it's so much more clear now now if the tree decides to fall it's not gonna fall on the uh, on the house it's just gonna go past the house down there all right there it is it's a good sized burn pile all the pine needles gonna make it burn pretty nice so what we did uh, last year um, and the years before once in a while um, especially after the first couple of rains you know so this got wet already but it's been dry for a few days so what I'm thinking is grabbing a couple of tarps and covering it up so that next time when we decide to burn, you know, the pile is going to be nice and dry. So that could start burning right away. Otherwise, you know, if it's all wet, it's all only going to smolder. So, yeah. So I'll show you, I'll show you guys what that looks like when we're going to burn. And then we have this tree right here that's going to have to go down also. There was another tree that stood right next to it over there. Same tree. That one fell down. We got it all cut up. Uh, so I don't know what to happen. Some kind of pine beetles or something killed it, but it's not growing anymore. So that's going to be a lot of firewood, a lot of uh, stuff for the burn pile. So I'm pretty excited about that, guys. So, all right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up over here. Appreciate you guys watching. If you guys have any suggestions, definitely let me know. All right, guys, you guys have a blessed day. We'll see you on the next one.